Hey everyone, it's Fantasia. So The Sims have officially tweeted about the kits coming on January 18th and we knew about them, of course, but they haven't posted any pictures or anything like that. And then for the castle kit, two pictures leaked. And so The Sims have officially tweeted themselves now and it says here, the community voted kits are here. Build with the classic grandeur of a castle or bring out your inner grim with The Sims 4 castle estate kit and The Sims 4 goth galore kit. And they gave us this little clip here, which I thought was so cool. What the heck? Also, I was confused. Like before I read the post, I was like, why'd they put the Grim Reaper again? Obviously they mentioned the Grim Reaper after. So like, okay, maybe that's just simply why. But so many people are saying they keep using Grim for like everything and anything. And it's still like kind of weird. I do still think it's a hint towards something. I know in this sense, it actually fits like, you know, goth and Grim. Like it does make sense but they just keep on using Grimm over and over and over again. And they'll just like randomly post pictures of Grimm and they just keep doing all these hints. So I still can't help but wonder if we really are getting some sort of Grimm Reaper pack sometime this year. So I guess we'll have to see, but this is so cool. Like how like the castle turns all goth and everything. I feel like everyone is going to be building the goths um, house over again and using this stuff. So then scrolling down, of course, we've already seen the pictures for the castle kit. So I'm not going to go over that too much but it says here embrace the past with the current in the sims 4 castle estate kit from stone walls to leaded glass windows create the perfect backdrop to your next story so just quickly going through these i already talked about them i think the items look amazing i specifically love this here the only thing is i just don't know like when i use this other than maybe their house literally the goth's house because this looks really really cool for their home and i could just I could just see them having a place like this. And I feel like it's like one of the only things that makes sense. For this one here, you can see the land grabs. And I feel like it could make sense for them too, but almost doesn't also in a sense. I don't know. I can't see myself building them a castle, like to be honest. Just, I don't know. I feel like they're meant to be in a rich home, but not a castle. I don't know if that's just me though. So I'm hoping we see a medieval pack, like a real one, like an expansion pack going to the past or something like that. And then I feel like this kit will have so much more uses. But if you're a builder, I feel like you'll get tons of use out of this if you like these types of builds. Okay, so now for what I'm really freaking excited about and we haven't seen these pictures beforehand. Style your Sims in the latest contemporary goth fashion with the Sims 4 goth galore kit. With a new dark wardrobe and moody makeup, your Sim will be the best dressed in town. Let's look at these photos. Okay, so we have a bunch of new makeup, obviously a bunch of new clothes. Of course, we don't get hairs, so all of these are just ones we already have, but oh my god. Okay, so I was not expecting boots like this. So with the goth kit, I've, I've been so excited because I love goth fashion, but I love certain goth fashion. I'm like very particular with it. There, I feel like there's so many different kinds of goths out there. There really is. I don't know. There's certain things that I, I'm not really drawn to and then other things that I'm obsessed with. Like I love this skirt. I love these boots. I love the gloves. I actually love everything, but I'm saying like, you know, when it comes to just things that I'm drawn to more, like I usually won't go for things like the trench coat and stuff like that, but I will use this. This is still stunning. I don't know. I really like the way it looks regardless. I feel like they just did such a good job with like everything. Love how like they're all wearing nail polish, the black nails here, this new leather jacket. I love the way that looks. I think these are new tattoos or no, wait. Oh, I don't know. I'm like, wait, is that tattoos that we already have or not? I guess we'll find out. I'm so excited to just look through all of this in game. This dress is cute. Everything just looks good to me. Even the stuff that's not particularly my vibe. See, like I love things like these pants. I love the gloves. I love this crop top. This outfit reminds me of CC kind of. A little different. I feel like I have some skirts like this, but they're like a little shorter and a little more pleated. And I usually pair them with fishnets and I just love the vibe. This is Cassandra, right? I feel like this looks so good on her. Also, this hoodie is totally giving Grimm vibes. So like that would make sense for them using Grimm. It definitely, the hood definitely looks like Grimm. I, this makeup is so cool. I don't know how much I would use that makeup, but for like a photo or something, I feel like it creates this really cool effect. However, I'm really curious to see what this eye makeup looks like in game because sometimes Makeup that the Sims team makes can be a hit or a miss. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to look good, good in game? I think this is going to look good in game, but I'm wondering about the eyeshadow and stuff. It makes me a little nervous. I'm not going to judge it because I need to see it up close. This one looks better. 
than this look here. With makeup in the game, it's usually like I can see what they were going for, but then like I'll compare it to the CC makeup I have and I'm just like, I don't know, I can only use the CC makeup. There's like only a few items in game that I'll gravitate towards and I'll mostly just use CC stuff just because like sometimes the eyeshadow will look like a little messy, like not, I don't know, I can't explain it. Like sometimes a makeup look is supposed to look messy and kind of like smoky or like kind of smeared, but that's not even what I mean. Like, I don't know. If you, if you guys play with CC, you guys know what I mean. So we're gonna have to see for that one. Of course, I'll wait to see it in my own game, but I also love the detail on this top, by the way. I don't know. I think this is attached to the top, right? Over here, even the more basic stuff, like these two t-shirts are super cute. I feel like you need like a classic graphic tee with a goth kit, so this is perfect. I still can't get over these boots. These are giving. I love those. And then I don't know if this is attached to the top or not, because I don't know if this is the same top as this, but just a different swatch. Obviously, we can't tell. I don't know if this is going to be like an accessory or attached to the top. I'm going to say it's probably attached to the top, even though I wish it was separate, because I use these as CC all the time. And it would be nice to just have one in game that I can use under any top. That would be really cool, but I guess we'll have to see. Also, these shorts are pretty cool too, but anyways, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Comment down below how you're feeling. Is this what you hoped the goth kit would be? I'm really curious to know. Oh, I didn't even point out these boots. There is these more like subtle boots, which I think is also nice. She's wearing them as well. I feel like these are like the classic goth boots that you see like everywhere. These are specifically reminding me of one creator's CC boots and I can't even think of who right now. So if you know, comment down below. Obviously we already knew about the castle kit. So I feel like there's just not much to talk about there. And I'm basically just highlighting this one here. Oh my God, you guys, I didn't even know. I just clicked on the links. Like, you know, they put like learn more. I wasn't even going to bother, but wait, they put the items. Do they usually do this? I don't even know to be honest. Okay. So I was not expecting this. I'm not even going to read these. I just want to look at the items. So this is what we're getting with the castle kit. See, yeah, like I feel like like, these are gonna be cool to like build a castle but I just feel like now we need like an actual medieval gameplay kit because I just can't see myself using this stuff like I'm gonna be completely honest and that's not because it's not good I think it's gorgeous I think they did a great job obviously this is more of like an exterior building kit so there's not even really like is this all of it I guess so. It just seems so little, but I think it's just because it's all like exterior stuff instead of furniture. Comment down below how you feel about that actually. I'm curious. Like I'm wondering if anyone expected there to be like beds and stuff like that. I guess there's not. I'm just like, no way is there not. No, I guess that is like the amount that we would get usually. I think it just seems like less because it's all just like windows and stuff. Okay, and then the goth kit. Okay, so a lipstick. This doesn't look bad actually. Oh, and there's one eyeshadow. I wonder why I feel like it looks so different on both those sims. There's also this one, but I wouldn't count that as like an eyeshadow. I feel like that's just like, I mean, you could, but I personally just wouldn't like randomly put my sims in this. This would be more for like a photo or like they're doing their makeups for a specific event, like something to do with Halloween or like, I don't know. The, I don't know. The eyeshadow doesn't look too bad either here, but again, I'm just going to hold out until I see it in game. But yeah, even seeing the stuff here, we get a new pair of earrings, which look pretty cool. I think it would have been really cool if we saw some like um stretchers i think those type of earrings would have fit even more with this pack but overall i like what i'm seeing there's some stuff here where i'm like eh but like most of it i'm like pleasantly surprised so that's really cool i was just gonna say that skirt comes separate right okay good 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 because i saw it on multiple sims and i was like where is it also did we see these these look like new shorts I don't know. And then there's this new bracelet. And I, yeah, I guess this is separate. This is cool. I feel like I actually, I have a lot of chokers, like custom content ones, whereas I don't have many like this that are like giving choker vibes, but it's not like tight to the neck and it has like chains and stuff. So I like that because I just don't feel like I own as many of those. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Comment down below your thoughts. What photo do you like more as well, you guys? I don't know. I think I like this picture more. But yeah, with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. 